Now, when you have integrals that involve natural logs, something like this, and you're going to use integration by parts, always make sure that the natural log part is your u. So I'll label that u, and your other part then becomes the dv dx part. So, using the formula then, we have u, which will be the natural log of x, multiplied by v, which is the integral of the other part. So the integral of x cubed with respect to x is x to the power 4 over 4. And then we have minus the integral of v, that's this part here, x to the 4 over 4, multiplied by du dx, which is the differential of the natural log of x. So that's going to be 1 over x. And that's integrated with respect to x. Next, just tidy up. Tidying up the first term, we have x to the power 4 over 4 times the natural log of x. And then tidying up the integral here, we have a quarter. We can pull the quarter out the front of the integral. And then notice that we can simplify this by cancelling that x with one of the x's in here. And that will leave us with x cubed. Cleaning that up then, we get a quarter, the integral of x cubed, with respect to x. And then if we carry on and integrate this part, we'll just copy down the first term. So we've got that. And now integrating this, the integral of x cubed is x to the power 4 over 4. And multiply it with the quarter, and we have x to the power 4 over 16. And then don't forget the constant C of integration. OK, so there's one example. And uh, there are other examples we can have. But this one here is a special case. Let's say we've just got simply the integral of the natural log of x with respect to x. Now in this one, it doesn't look as if we've got a bipart situation. But what we do is we introduce a 1, OK? 1 times the natural log of x with respect to x. And as I said before, always let the natural log function be your u part. And in this case, the 1 is the dv by dx part. So when we integrate by parts, then, we've got the u part natural log of x, multiplied by the integral of the other part. So we've got the 1 here, integrated with respect to x, is x. Then minus the integral of the part we just integrated. That's the v part there. So I just put that down. Multiplied by the differential of the u part. So the differential of natural log of x is 1 over x and that's integrated with respect to x. In this integral, we can now see that that x cancels with that x there. And so tidying up, we have that this equals x times the natural log of x, and then minus the integral of 1 with respect to x. And working this out, we have the integral of 1 with respect to x is just simply x. And again, don't forget the constant of integration. So hopefully, that introduces you to integrating functions that are ones that contain a natural log x part. Always make that natural log of x the u part.